Hey everyone, and welcome to Carrie's Garage. And on this episode, we're gonna talk about something we recently bought. It's big. And before we get started, if you could just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and the bell so you can get notified. I'm gonna start filming a bunch of content now. I've got way too many projects, so yeah. Anyways, we've been wanting some sort of an RV or end or a camper or something for quite a while and nothing is really suited what we need or it's just too expensive and uh, the 1970s GMC motorhomes that are front wheel drive really kind of fit the bill and this one popped up at auction recently and it was fairly inexpensive. So let's walk around the outside a little bit and then I'll show you a video that I filmed recently of the original interior which sort of original whatever and then we'll see what it's at now and kind of talk about it a little bit. Here's the exterior. It's a 1973 GMC 26 foot motorhome. Originally started life out, I believe, as a Sequoia. It's been repainted at some point in this really crazy graphics and whatnot. There's a couple of pieces of the original paint and stripes that I was able to find. So, like I said before, it's a front wheel drive platform. So, it uses an Oldsmobile Tornado 455 V8 with the front wheel drive transaxle. Got some service panels for the water heater, the forced air, the furnace, which is all coming out because I'm going to do something different. There's a Onan generator under this panel. Let me see if I can open it up real quick. So let's see. So there's a uh, Onan 6000 watt generator, which uh, I think we're going to take this out and sell it and use something a bit more modern and go for a bit more solar and battery banks on this guy. Here's the back part. See GMC uses the van tail lamps. It's got the ladder that goes up top. It uh, originally it has had two roof units. It's got one left. The other one's missing. I need to figure that out at some point. But let's go around the other side. It's kind of blocked right here. It's hard to fit it all on the camera, even at wide angle. Cause it's pretty big. This is all the interior we've already stripped out of it. Some of it was original, I know, but we'll talk about that here in a minute because I don't want people hating on me for it because very specific reason everything is being done as it's being done. And then back here, uh, I think that's a water tank or some sort of storage. I'd have to open it up. Interesting thing is these are just uh, kind of tag axles. It's got two axles with airbags on it. It's got the drum brakes. So it has a very low load floor because it's front wheel drive. So at some point, somebody painted the interior, this purple color or whatnot, put down some wood flooring. And like I say, we started stripping it, you know, some of the original the furnace and water heater and you know, all the electrics and whatnot. There had been some mice in it at one point. So, you know, we really got to deep clean it and whatnot. I think the only original part of it interior wise is these seat cushions you know the floral pattern got a water tank under there let's see if i can open this guy up it's the bathroom not really much to see in here this is all fairly original in here and here's looking up front under this cover let's see if i can lift it up That is the old Tornado engine, which is missing some parts. So I've already got pretty much everything sorted out that I need to get for it. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take a lot of work, but it's really gonna be worth it in the end. This is what the interior currently looks like. I already cleaned up this area and put it up, but everything's gonna get stripped. It's the seats up front, captain's chairs, this hideous color paint. Take a swing around. And we're just gonna gut it and do what we want. Here's the kitchen. It's all dirty and disgusting. These are about to come out. What I wanted to do is show you the whole interior before we started gutting it to see the progress. Here's what the bed looks like in the back. This is all gonna get torn out. So it's gonna be quite an ambitious project. Bathroom in here, I won't show you that. The fridge should be right here missing but yeah it's uh it's gonna be quite ambitious well 
We're now sitting in the motorhome and let's talk about it a little bit. My train of thought on this is I know these GMCs are fairly collectible. You can find them a lot of times, very original. You know, people treat them kind of like show cars. You know, they take them to, they've got big events and whatnot, and some of them sell for a lot of money. But this particular motorhome had been monkeyed with, had been modified quite a lot. You know, like I say, the interior's all been painted, and it was very, very cheap. I mean, sub thousand dollars, basically. And for what we want, you know, we want to be able to use it. And I don't want to have to worry about original pieces, you know, original equipment, you know, um, worrying about messing something up. So because it had been modified and monkeyed with over the years, and it needs quite a bit of work, what we decided would be a good idea, and also because of the price of it and what it is, and it's pretty solid overall, that um, gutting it entirely and completely remodeling it and modernizing it to our needs and what we want. You know, we'd like to be able to travel around the state, maybe go on some road trips with our dogs and be able, you know, we're not going to live in it, but, you know, have a nice, comfortable space to be able to spend our time, be with our dogs and, you know, do some fun adventuring. Eventually, the goal is we would like to drive it to Alaska, where my brother and sister-in-law live. So that will be kind of an ambitious project. It's going to take a while to get it uh, mechanically sound and to do the complete interior remodel. And yeah, it's a really big undertaking. I will admit that, but I really don't feel all that guilty tearing it apart because of how cheap it was. And to completely restore it back to its original state would be very expensive and to me, not really worth it. Um, we just kind of figured that it would be a perfect platform to make it exactly as we want. We're gonna, you know, put some solar on it, some battery banks, inverters, you know, a modern uh, furnace, a modern high efficiency water heater, some new roof units, uh, redo the bedroom so it's a lot more comfortable, you know, uh, the kitchen a little bit differently, completely redo the bathroom, and just make it a really good environment for us. And we've been taking a lot of inspiration from watching videos and looking at pictures of schoolie conversions, uh, different motorhome renovations, uh, modernization on some of the other coaches and we're just going to make it what we want but stay tuned on this particular build because it's going to take a long time there's going to be a lot of videos on it and um yeah hope you guys enjoy it and yeah we'll we'll see how it goes it still needs a bit more gutting we need to finish taking out the bathroom the you know all the electronics and whatnot and then start kind of planning out and slowly buying our stuff but anyways thank you so much for watching um, yeah, stay tuned on the GMC Motorhome. It's going to be a while.